What's going on Dragon Ball Z fans? We are back once again. The Saiyan Brotherhood is here. Myself, the Cod Brothers Gaming, Fatal Brotherhood back at it once again presenting yet another Dragon Ball discussion. A very interesting discussion nevertheless. Uh, now, I want to ask you guys here today because this has been brewing around for such a long time. All over the forums, all over the comments in our videos. I want to know from you guys right now. Dragon Ball GT versus Dragon Ball Super. Omega Shenron versus the God Destruction Beerus. Now, uh, a lot of people are going to bring this up and they're going to say GT characters are much more powerful than Dragon Ball Z characters and uh, Dragon Ball Super characters. Now, I want to know from you guys right now, given the fact that we've seen Beerus in action in, in Dragon Ball Super and he is very destructive, um, and comparing that to Omega Shenmon who literally beat down two Super Saiyan 4s without any, without, without any hesitation, without even breaking a sweat. So I want to know from you guys right now, in terms of power scale, in terms of speed, durability, um, in terms of overall combat knowledge, who do you guys think would be able to fare up in this battle? Because I know certain people might say, oh, well, it's a one-sided battle because Beerus would win. But you'd be surprised on how many people would favor Omega Shenron. So, uh, personally, for me, I think that I, I think personally that Beerus would completely outclass Omega. But I want to know your insights on this because I want to know what you guys think. And I want to know if you agree with the people that say that Omega Shenron does stand more of a chance because he is far more powerful than anybody Beerus has encountered thus far in Dragon Ball Super. Um... For me, I would say it depends on what we're counting here. You know how the jump from Dragon Ball Z to GT base form Goku is Super Saiyan 3 Goku in terms of power level? Absolutely, yes. So if that comes into play, that bullshit excuse, I honestly think that Omega Shenron will be way... Whoa! That is a, that is a shocker. Really? Yeah. Really? Like, you're serious about this? Yep. I mean, but Omega doesn't contain any, any energy that's from a different realm, Beerus has godlike energy. Godlike energy cannot be affected by normal ki. But godlike energy didn't require a spirit bomb from every person in the universe. So you're trying to tell me that if regular, you know, GT Goku were to launch a universal spirit bomb against Beerus, it would completely destroy him? Yeah, it probably would. I, I, I don't know about that. I would say it would damage him. I don't think it would kill him. Like, are you are, telling me if a... If Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta back in Dragon Ball Z's power level can nail a scratch on Beerus, you're telling me buffing them up to that point He didn't be even... Beerus didn't even go 10% against Vegeta. Not that's even still, that, that, that's a pretty significant 10%, bruh. He didn't even. It, was, it must have been between the ranges of 5 and 8. I mean, yes, Beerus admitted in Dragon Ball Super that he fared up better than how the other Saiyan did on King Kai's planet, which was referring to Goku. Um, but he wasn't impressed. He was like, you're shit to me. I'm going to put you down for the count. And then Goku came along. So, but but Beerus' power, it, it, it's, it's on a different plateau. It's on a different level. So, I just personally believe that I think Omega would give him a fight. I don't, I I don't, mean, I, even I, though, I don't think... Even though you're saying it's on a different level, he still got scratched by a regular person. Barely. Not even scratched. There was nothing on his face. Made, he made he contact, got him caught off guard. Even at 10%, you're telling me when they multiply, he's not going to hit at least 50% by the time they reach GT. And then even more so by the time they reach Omega Shenron. Omega's power is very, very immense. I mean, it took two Super Saiyan 4s to fuse to, like, even lay a hand on this guy. So, so two impressive. Super Saiyan 4s, plus that Super Saiyan 3 buff, plus the fusion. Well, the fusion the doesn't count because the fusion completely slaughtered him. But I understand where you're coming from in this realm. But what you're trying to tell me is that Super Saiyan 4, Goku, if, if, if you want to subtract Omega, would be, I guess you could say, formidable against Beerus? Is that what you're telling I'm me? I'm guessing it would have to be like 40%. you got to tell me at least one Super Saiyan 4 is 40%. I would say Beerus would decimate Super Saiyan 4. Okay, so then not two, two Super Saiyan 4s wouldn't be equal to 80%? Two Super Saiyan 4s, I think Beerus would have a difficult time, but I'd still believe he would smash them no problem. And At least 80 to 85% of his power would be used against those two. And against Omega, Omega Shenron still outclassed them, so Omega Shenron falls into the 90 to 100% category. But then again, yeah, exactly. So, yes, I, I do believe that Beerus would use closely to about 90 to 100% of his full power against Omega, but then again, we don't know uh, Beerus's like glass ceilings. We we don't know like where he stops. I mean, if that if he even stops in the first place, because look what happened in Super thus far. Goku was kicking his ass. I mean, they were they were literally even, I guess you could say, until you know Beerus said, "All right, I'm not even trying against you, but I'm gonna throw this at you and let's see if you can combat it. If you don't, it's gonna blow your planet up and goodbye to you." He gave Goku his respects. He was like, "I respect you, Super Saiyan God, but you're nowhere near my level. Nowhere, like even as a god." So 
if Super Saiyan God Goku, who I believe is stronger than Super Saiyan 4, is weaker than Beerus, I think that Beerus would have no problem either knocking out or completely killing Omega. How, how, how could he not, man? It, it's it's God because energy. of that power buff, that, that ridiculous power buff at the beginning of GT that throws all these calculations off. Sean, what do you think about this? Because I'm going for Beerus, Paul's going for Omega. Where do you where do you stand in all this? My opinion is you can figure it out based on these three words. <sighs> Fuck Omega Shenron. Oh my god. Yes, because anything in GT I just fucking hate, but based on power level wise, Omega, he's he's part like you see how Shenron got bitched by Beerus? I'm thinking that if Omega Shenron is like somewhat of like a Shenron, he's gonna get bitched by Beerus even more. I don't think there's any comparison in this fight. I think Beerus would just like obliterate this motherfucker. Easily. Easily. No competition at all. No competition. <laughs> Omega Shenron could suck the Graves dick for all. I, I, I hated Omega Shenron. I like Beerus more, but with that power buff and to the point where it's the end of the storyline, I'm sorry. I still well, I don't, we don't know if they're going to take that far into the storyline. But besides, like, isn't Beerus like from Revival of F? Uh, we said that if those two would actually team up, they might beat Beerus, right? Yeah, they, they so, had a very good chance, actually. A very yeah. good chance if they teamed so, up. So by the end of that, you think Beerus would be like, okay, maybe I should start training again. Maybe he'll, he won't let himself just get easily beaten. That is that is true. You do have a point. But again, he, it's just Omega. He is, I, I think he was a very weird enemy. Uh, he, he like what, what I liked about him was his design. He was a big white dragon with spikes, and he had a really cool voice. Oh, it's because he's white, isn't it? But 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 the way they utilized him was just weird because I was like, all right, wait a minute. If you're but I'm to... talking about raw power here, guys. Come on, you're telling me base form GT Goku is a power level of Super Saiyan three. Now but if you make he... him if he when he goes Super Saiyan three in in that series, multiply that. By whatever we gave power levels the bs like toss after power the levels are considered shit but yeah it's, if you want to go down that road fine let's say we had gt goku come in the mix regular he transformed into a super saiyan 3 yes it would be much more powerful than how he fought beerus as a super saiyan 3 and super absolutely would that give beerus any more of a challenge i believe slightly not just like no way if as yeah. as a super saiyan 4 they first have to make goku back to his normal form like his size like his age because as a kid his body takes up more of that super saiyan 4 energy just to change into that adult form so that's already a, a, like um what's it called uh i don't know uh i, I don't know disadvantage for goku if they can push beerus to 10 percent in dragon ball super you're telling me by the time they reach super saiyan 4 with all of those multiplication factors in in mind they can't touch maybe 40 50 Why would they go to Super Saiyan 4 if they already have God? That's the thing. That, that's why GT's basically on the verge of becoming completely uncanon. Even though it already is viewed as that because there was no manga for that. But um, they, they kind of really, really shit it on. Before. Absolutely. And I think that for this, I think your opinion is Omega. Mine and Sharon's of Beerus, but let us know what you guys think down below. Is it GT or is it Super? Is it Beerus or is it Omega Shenron? Drop your comments in the comment section below, guys. We want to know your overall thoughts, opinions, and ideals on this battle. And, and if you like again, GT, please tell us why. Yes. Oh no. Oh no. There are going to be people that are going to refute you on that. They're going to they're going to give you legitimate reasons. I mean, GT bring had it. its moments. Bring it. Bring oh, it. I want to know, guys. Give me your arguments. Oh God, please don't argue because this is going to turn into a f endless battle between GT, Z, and Super. But thank you all for watching once again, guys. If you guys are Dragon Ball Z fans, don't forget to subscribe for more daily discussions, what if battles, let's plays, walkthroughs, reviews, and so much more. If you guys enjoyed the discussion, smash that like button with the power of a thousand Omega Shenrons which doesn't come close to viewers, of course. And uh, <laughs> leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Stay tuned for more, and we will be seeing you guys in the next discussion. Take it easy, everybody. Peace. Peace.